Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Jeremy AK Uzarajarambe back again with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video we'll be talking about some completely free to play friend support units you can bring in for explosive chain battle to help your friends deal max damage. Because as many of us know, if your friends have the right support units, you can deal a lot of damage and make your way towards the top of the rankings. So these units are currently available in game so make sure you go over there and farm them out before they're gone we'll be talking about where to find them as well as some other information here in a minute but real quick i just want to let you guys know i do have a discord chat as well as some other social media pages links for those are down in the description below go ahead and check those out support me over there i'd really appreciate that and definitely join that awesome discord community as well if you're new to the channel hit that red subscribe button that notification bell to stay up to date on future content like this Drop a like on the video, and then comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And also, check out the link in the description for a video with rules and details for my upcoming 1,000 subscriber special Dragon Ball Hunt giveaway that will be taking place when the actual uh, worldwide celebration campaign kicks off. And this giveaway is going to be an exciting time, give you guys a chance at some awesome prizes, so stay tuned for more on that. So let's go ahead and hop over to Dokkan Battle, and you can see the information we've got on the right side of the screen for these units. Let's go ahead and hop into their events and see where we're going to get them from. So the first one is going to be from the new Evil Revive, the most fearsome Majin story event. And what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for these gourmet chocolates in Stage 5, and then there are some Awakening Medals in Stage 4 and 8 we will get after we get the unit. So let's go ahead and go in here and let's just look at what we've got. So um, we've got a boost effect for Majin Buu Saga. And we can get, um, there's actually a lot of LRs for Majin Buu Saga. I have a full team, so that's 245% boost. But there are a lot of Majin Buu Saga category units that you can bring in to boost this. So let's go ahead and show you the event real quick. Um, it should be a fairly quick grind um, because, uh, nonetheless, even if you don't use this unit for Explosive Chain Battle, which I do highly recommend because both of these units are advantageous, for the uh, Super Boo that is currently there right now. But anyway, um, even if you don't use these units for Explosive Chain Battle, they're still, at least the Gohan is a decent unit that you can use elsewhere, um, even after this Explosive Chain Battle ends. So it's a really quick uh, farm here. If you go ahead and bring in the right units, and then you can see we've got that gourmet chocolate that we're getting there. And then the cool thing is, is of course, while we're doing this, we can get some of our link skills uh, leveled up as well, because of course, we are uh, doing some farming. So you'll take the uh, gourmet chocolate that we've got here. So if you've got boost tiles, you can also activate those, and you can get more of these gourmet chocolates quicker. You'll go over to the Baba's shop, and then you can see that we have the gourmet chocolate tab here. So this Gohan is who we're focused on today. You can grab some other units here, but um, you want to grab 14 of these copies of this unit. So you'll need 14 gourmet chocolates, and then what you'll do is you'll level his super attack up to 10, unlock all four of his hidden potential paths, and then you'll need uh, these medals from the event as well that we j had talked about earlier, and then you can awaken him and rainbow him out. And again, your friend support units being rainbowed out is very helpful to deal more damage during the explosive chain battle event as well. And so let's, I'll just, I'll do another video for Hidden Potential build for this Gohan and the other units from this uh, banner that you can get from the, uh, the, fierce, the most fearsome Majin story event. But I'll just tell you a quick breakdown for the Gohan, how I recommend building his Hidden Potential. He has infinite attack stacking in his super attack, so definitely build some additionals. And his passive is basically just going to give him a high chance of launching an additional super attack when he has a Goku's Family Category ally on the team, or sorry, attacking in the same turn. And then Goku's family category allies, he gives a key plus one attack defense plus 10%. So a good support unit. And with the infinite attack stacking, definitely go ahead and build additional attacks. Follow up with some crit and then sprinkle in some evade if you want there as well. So a really good unit. Make sure you go in, farm him out and rainbow him out because he will be useful even after explosive chain battle is gone. And our other free-to-play unit that we're going to be bringing in that is an advantageous unit is going to be over in the challenge tab. Available right now is the Dokkan event, which is the, once we get to the bottom here, Pure Destruction and Carnage. You'll go ahead and do uh, level 1, which is uh, called Strange Battle on Z-Hard, and you can see the drop reward is going to be 
the Tech Fat Boo. So we're just going to go ahead and run it real quick to show you. This is a very fast, um, a very fast event uh, for a lot of the units that you probably have right now. You don't even have to launch super attacks, and you can take this uh, Super Boo out uh, because he is. He's, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of health. Like I said, it's it's a Z hard only. It's not super. So you start out with uh, Evil Boo here. And uh, I'm going to just use some counters to, to finish him off as long as he doesn't super attack. Um, so if you have units that, you know, you want to bring in and level up link skills, you can do that here as well. <laughs> and of course, he's going to super attack. But uh, that's all right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll be able to finish him off really quick. So, of course, it is all RNG. There is no boost, unfortunately, for this uh, this event. But, still, it's a very easy event to take on. I'm not even going to have to use a super attack to kill this super boo here. And we're going to be able to knock him out one hit. And then, if you're lucky, you'll be able to get some units dropped for you. So, this, this fat boo, he can be... Uh, awakened to Super Boo, but you want to make sure you are keeping him in the Fat Boo state. Do not awaken him. Just get his super attack leveled to 10, and then leave it at that, but then throw him on your friend's teams. And of course, um, let's go ahead and let's just look at this Boo real quick. Because he is a... Uh, he's just going to be an SSR unit, um, because of course we don't want to awaken him to this Super Boo, because then he's no longer advantageous, but uh, we can't do Hidden Potential with him because he only goes up to SSR, so you just want to get him maxed to his Super Attack level 10, and then throw him on the team for Explosive Chain Battle. And then what you can see here is when we go into Explosive Chain Battle, I've got these uh, units, you've got the, uh, the Free-to-Play Int Gohan here that I've got rainbowed out, and then I've got this Tech Boo level 10, and you've Throw that fat boo in there, and if you have the other two fat boos, they are not free to play, but they are also the other two advantageous fat boos. And then I've got a lot of uh, Gohans that we've got rainbowed out as well. And uh, if you look into battle info here, in the battle result for some of the high scores, you can see that some of these people, here you go, you can see that free to play Gohan right there. So he is an advantageous unit. And then if we dig through a few of these, some people don't bring in this fat boo, but there you go, right there. So you can see the Fat Boo and that Int Gohan being on both of the friend support teams for somebody who dealt 107 million damage. So you may not think it matters, but it does. These two units being advantageous, having them on the friend support teams can be very helpful. Now, of course, they're not the only units that you need to bring in, but they are two free-to-play units that are absolutely worth going in and getting right now to help out your friends and if everybody's using them then all of us are going to be able to deal some more damage so unfortunately right now on my friends list i'm trying to find some people that have some good units because i did get knocked out of two percent all the way to seven percent as people are finding out the uh, trick to doing this event more but uh, we to we do still have four days so make sure you're going in getting these units farmed out throw them on your friend teams and help us all out i know i've got a few of you guys on my friend uh, list as well so definitely go in and do that and uh, hopefully my teams have been helping you guys out i've seen some people getting some high scores with my friend support so that's really nice but uh, that's everything I've got to talk about today. So hopefully you guys did find some useful information. Hopefully your gr uh, grind doesn't take too long. And you get these guys, uh, or at least the Gohan rainbowed out, and get that boo maxed out for a super attack. Throw them on those friend support teams. And uh, yeah, we'll see how everything goes on the next explosive chain battle. Again, we have four more days left for this. So you've got plenty of time to go in and get these guys farmed out and get them on your team. So... Uh, again, if you uh, want to go ahead, check out those links in the description below. Join the awesome Discord community and support me on those social media pages. Again, hit that red subscribe button, that notification bell to stay up to date. And then comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And definitely check out that video in the description below for details regarding my 1,000 subscriber special giveaway that will be taking place very soon when the worldwide celebration kicks off. That's everything I've got to talk about today. We will, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming by and checking out the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Signing out.